Here is another video that I am starting to see a lot of questions arriving from, and that would be stair designs for multi-level floors. So this could be for a stairway in a basement, and then a stairway going up to a second story, and then a stairway going up to a third floor. And by the time you finish watching this video, you should have a pretty good idea what not to do when it comes to changing the design of the stairway and how it will affect the head room below or even the headroom above. So here we have two straight stairs and then a set of stairs that goes up to a landing and then finishes up to the next floor. And you can see how it creates a problem for the headroom here. You're going to have to be a little shorter than five foot to make it through this stairway without bending over. And of course you can see how it affects the center of the stairway also, yet starts out with a lot of headroom. So the stairway above is creating a problem for the headroom below, but that's not going to be the case with the stairway above where you see we have plenty of headroom. And of course this won't be a problem if we use the same exact design and stack it right above the other one. And this could also be a problem if you move the stairway in either direction a little bit. So even though I'm not going to go over every single problem you're going to have, I can tell you that if you use the exact same stairway and you place it in the exact same spot on the floor above or the floor below, then you're probably going to be safe as long as you have enough headroom on the first step. For example, something like this isn't going to work if this measurement is six foot from here to here and the same on the next two. So when it comes to stacking the stairs in multi-story designs, it's going to work best if you can keep them in the same spot and use the same design. Next up, let's take a look at the same stair design with a stairway with a landing. And you can see where we've created a problem below, but we haven't created one above, which seems to be the norm with changing designs. And of course, that all should make sense. Uh, common sense uh, sometimes applied to stuff like this makes sense. However, if you do come across a design that you can change and create plenty of headroom clearance for below and above using eight foot ceilings, then feel free to share that information with us in the comment area. Now, obviously, if these were 10 foot ceilings, you could do a variety of different things with your stairs. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up by suggesting to anyone who has a question or a comment to leave it in the comment area and I will answer it as soon as possible. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you let us know by hitting the thumbs up or the like button.